Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're working on a coin op. Uh, this is a Frigidaire. Uh, it's basically a Whirlpool design. Uh, this is this, this design, I think, was us, uh, originally a White Westinghouse design. And then also Gibson, Whirlpool, uh, Sears also uses this basic design here. <coughs> Uh, and you can see this large bolt here. This is normally screwed on inside the, uh, the box here. So when this thing has a nut on it, this top will not come off without taking this part here out and then loosening the nut. So this one is not heating. And normally it's going to be that fuse right there. That is the high limit uh, thermo cutout. So it's very likely that's what we need to replace on this one. It's very easy to check with a meter. And of course, always, you want to unplug your unit before working on it. And so we'll get the meter and we'll check that. And that's probably going to be the problem. And we're going to just take it apart and clean out and then lube the moving parts. What particularly goes dry, and usually it starts with a squeaking, is this main bearing here inside. And so here is a little disclaimer for you. And so the way I usually take this barrel out to uh, lube the main bearing back behind here, take the front off, uh, loosen the belt, grab the belt, lift up, and sometimes you have to stick a screwdriver in here to pry to lift this up, and that should come right up. Okay, there's the front panel off. There's the inside right there. There's the bushing, uh, bearing, whatever, cup that usually gets dry. There's a close look at that thermal cutoff. That's the one that usually goes bad. Always check here for burnt wires. And we can look at the heat element, and we can see the heat element is intact. So it's actually not the heat element that's causing the problem. Now, this overload fuse usually blows when you're doing back-to-back -back loads and or you have poor flow on your vent system. So, see this, whatever, uh, basket axle. It's a little bit dry, but it's not too bad. And I will bet if we take the meter, we're not going to find any continuity on that fuse. Okay, so this one actually has a power supply problem. Uh, the owner brought it over for me to look at and check it. Everything checked out. It's got heat. And so what has happened is the owner's 220 line is probably only putting out 110 volts. So he's got one leg down on his 220 line. He needs to check on that. Thanks for watching. If you're interested, I give phone advice for a fee, $25, 707-443-8347. 9 to 5 Pacific Time. Email is appliancesworks at yahoo.com.